Trojan Sports Now. Hello and welcome to Trojan Sports Now. I'm Danielle Percival. And I'm Jonathan Sellers. Stick around as we bring you the latest news and scores from Troy Sports. The Trojan football team ended a tough three-game road stretch with a matchup against Duke on Saturday. And though the Trojans were able to keep it close, they came up just short. The Trojans were in it until the end, but it was the Duke Blue Devils who came away with a victory Saturday, 38-31. Troy had opportunity after opportunity, and it all came down to a final drive with 31 seconds left on the clock. But a final heave to the end zone as time expired ended with the Trojans' only turnover of the game. You know, it's so frustrating because we, we, even as bad as we played sometimes during the course of the game, we were so close to winning the games. It was a matchup that featured two explosive offenses that accounted for over 500 yards each. But the difference in the game was the Trojans' inability to finish drives. And that's something quarterback Corey Robinson knows the offense has to focus on. You shoot to score on every drive uh, from an offense standpoint, which is all I can speak for because uh, that's all I play. Uh, so we were just going to shoot to score uh, more points. You know, we do that, we win, we win more games. In the fourth quarter with Duke leading 35-31, the Trojans had the chance to take the lead on a 56-yard pass from Deion Anthony to Chandler Worthy that would have been a touchdown, but that play was negated due to a holding call. So that would have ended the game. That would have put us up, though. You know, and uh, we had kicked that field goal. Uh, to put us, uh, you know, in a position to, to win the game. You know, we talk about it all week, about uh, penalties uh, that can stop the drive. Saturday, Thomas caught a 12-yard touchdown pass to tie the Sunbelt Conference record for the most career touchdown grabs, but he said that wasn't his main focus. No, not really. The uh, victory would have been better off with it. Well, the volleyball team hit the court in Trojan Arena for their first conference test last Friday night. The Trojans were undefeated in their new home, but Western Kentucky swept Troy 3-0. The Trojans were closest in the first set, falling 25-19 before losing the next two, 25-16. Maria Zelenovic led the team with 14 kills, and Blair Winston added 8 kills. Alexandra Alexander did what she's known for doing, posting a double-double with 32 assists and 11 digs. Despite opening the conference schedule with a loss, head coach Sonny Kirkpatrick knows his team was facing a tough opponent. We knew we were going to have to play our best to, to compete with them, and uh, unfortunately we decided not to compete very much. It was embarrassing. Uh, I'm really disappointed in our team. They, they decided not to compete against the reigning Sun Belt champions, and if, if they don't compete, we, we don't have a chance to win. And the Trojans had a long road trip to Jonesboro for action on Sunday, and in a hard-fought game, the Trojans fell in five sets to Arkansas State. Troy had a 2-1 lead, but the Red Wolves won the final two sets to take the match. Blair Winston had 20 kills, while freshman Cassie Hendricks added 15. The match dropped Troy to 0-2 in the conference, and they are now 1-4 in five-set matches this season. But the Trojans were able to snap their five-game skid Wednesday night as they beat South Alabama in three sets. Troy won by identical scores of 26-24 in all three. Maria Zelenovic had 11 kills, while Alexander had 34 assists and 10 digs. The Trojan soccer team was also opening conference play this weekend at home on Sunday against one of the newest members of the Sun Belt. Amy Austin gives us a look at the conference opener. Sunday afternoon, the Troy soccer team opened up conference play with a home game against Texas State. The Trojans lost 2-1 to one after the Lady Bobcats scored two goals early in the first half. As a team as a whole and the way we played today, it wasn't as our best. Uh, Maybe it was a day off Friday, I don't know. You know, I think when we get out and play and compete, we've got to understand we've got to compete for 90 minutes. We came up flat, uh, and that's what you saw. It was kind of sloppy in the first few minutes, and that's why you saw three goals real quick. Troy senior Cecilia Thorngreen answered Texas State's first goal to tie the game one-to-one -one within the first five minutes of the game. The Lady Bobcats then answered with another goal later in the half to take the lead. First 20 minutes, they've, got, they've scored two, we scored one, and I think we've created chances and not finished. And um, It was just kind of mass chaos there at the beginning. That's our conference, though, too. So I think we've kind of let ourselves down and put ourselves in a little bit of a hole in a game that I think realistically, if we played the way we're capable, we could have won. The second half was scoreless as the teams failed to convert on offense. Head coach Chris Bentley felt like Texas State came to compete and finished several chances, but said his own team made mistakes that cost them the game. We did a lot of mistakes, or made a lot of mistakes, that uh, changed the game for us. Uh, and I'm going to spend a lot of time this week on video and helping the girls out to see if we can improve that. But for me, it was accountability on ourselves more than anything else. 
Coach Bentley feels that his team needs to refocus in practice and they will come out ready to compete against their next opponent. I think it's important for us to start meeting business and practice. Uh, just get back to it, compete, do our thing, and we'll be fine. Um, you know, I think uh, when you come out and you're flat against a good conference opponent, uh, you're going to get punished for it, and that's what happened today. Amy Alston, Trojan Sports Now. The rodeo team got their season underway this weekend at the Missouri Valley College Vikings Stampede Rodeo. The women took the top spot in dominating fashion, finishing with 553 points, leaving second place Southern Arkansas in the dust with only 160 points. They took first, third, and fifth in the goat tying event, and their championship this weekend was their third straight at the NBC Stampede. The Troy men finished in sixth place with 120 points as a team, with Tennessee Martin winning the men's title with 760 points. Well, still to come on Trojan Sports Now, it's homecoming week and the football team will be taking on a conference and in-state rival on Saturday. But first, I had the chance to sit down with baseball head coach Bobby Pierce for a pre preview of this special upcoming weekend. Stick around for more Trojan Sports Now. <laughs> 